Hi everyone! Today I am going to read a story called Mr Nosy by Roger Hargreaves. To be nosy is to be extremely curious. Mr Nosy liked to know about everything that was going on. He was always poking his nose into other people's business. Mr Nosy was the sort of person, if they came upon a locked door, couldn't resist looking through the keyhole to see why the door had been locked. Mr Nosy was the sort of person who, if he found an unopened letter addressed to somebody else, would simply have to open it to find out what was inside. Mr Nosy was the sort of person who, if he was sitting reading his paper on the train, would much rather read the paper of the person sitting next to him. Naturally, as you might well imagine, Mr Nosy was not very popular. People did not like the way in which Mr Nosy would peek and pry into their affairs. They did not like it at all. But did that stop Mr Nosy peeking and prying? No, it did not. Mr Nosy lived in a funny tall thin house in a place called Tiddletown. The people of Tiddletown decided that Mr Nosy was becoming much too nosy and so they held a meeting to discuss what to do about him. We must find some way of stopping him being so nosy, said old Mr Chips, the town carpenter. That's right, said Mrs Warsha, who ran the Tiddletown laundry. He needs to be taught a lesson. If only we could think of a way to stop him poking his nose into everything, said Mr Brush, the painter. And then a small smile spread over his face. Listen, he said, now grinning. I have a plan. All his friends gathered round to listen to his plan. The following morning, Mr Nosy was out walking along Tiddletown High Street when he heard somebody whistling behind one of the closed doors. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself. And tiptoeing up to the door, he quietly opened it and peeped in. And splash! Went a very wet paintbrush right on the end of Mr Nosy's nose, covering it with bright red paint. Oh dear, I am sorry, said Mr. Br Miss, Mr Brush, who was painting the inside of the door. Poor Mr Nosy had to go straight home to try and remove the red paint, which was very difficult and rather painful. Mr. Brush chuckled to himself. <laughs> the plan had begun. The following day, Mr. Nosy was walking past the laundry when he heard somebody laughing on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself. And standing on tiptoe, he looked over the wall. And snap! Went a clothes peg right on the end of Mr Nosy's nose. Oh dear, I am sorry, said Mrs Warsha, 
who was hanging up clothes on a washing line on the other side of the wall. Poor Mr. Nosy removed the clothes peg and ran off down the street feeling extremely sorry for himself and for his poor red nose. Mrs. Washer chuckled to herself. <laughs> the plan was working. The next day, Mr. Nosy was going past a fence when he heard hammering. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself. And creeping very quietly to the end of the fence, he peeped round. And bang! went a hammer right on the end of Mr. Nosy's nose. Oh dear, I am sorry, said old Mr. Chips, who was nailing up a loose plank in the fence. Poor Mr. Nosy had to go home immediately and bandage his poor red sore nose. Mr. Chips grinned a broad grin. The plan was working very well indeed. The following day, Mr. Nosy was walking in the woods when he heard somebody sawing wood. I wonder what's going on here, he thought to himself, and he crept up behind a tree. He was just about to peer out from behind the tree when it suddenly occurred to him that if he did, something very nasty might happen to his nose. And so he went on his way without being nosy. Behind the tree, with a saw raised in his hand, stood Mr. Hurd, the farmer. When he saw that Mr. Nosy had gone on his way without being nosy, he laughed and laughed and laughed. The plan had worked. Mr. Hurd hurried into Tiddletown to tell everybody. The plan really had worked because after that, Mr. Nosy stopped being nosy and soon became very good friends with everybody in Tiddletown. And that is the end of the story. Except to say that if you are ever tempted to be as nosy as Mr. Nosy used to be, you'd better expect one thing, a sore nose. That's it, everybody. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay safe. Bye.